Hi everyone, Jody Conrad here with Recreation and Park Services with the District of Chester. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to just do a quick little video for you around wood ticks. Um, we're going to see if we can find some. I want to show you the different kinds that we've got, ideally. Um, two main kinds, really. We've got the dog tick, the American dog tick, which are, uh, have been around here forever um, and are really common. Uh, and the less common, uh, luckily, are the black-legged ticks, also known as deer ticks. And those ticks are the ones that uh, are known to carry Lyme disease, which is a, a valid concern here in Lunenburg County in the District of Chester. So I'm going to take this uh, light colored, it's actually an old sleeping bag case, uh, cotton bag basically, and I'm going to drag it along the uh, roadway back behind me here and see if we can find some ticks and show you the different kinds. So, uh, And I should say that habitat back there is uh, is pretty perfect. Wood ticks is a bit of a, a bit of a poorly named uh, descriptor for the for the creature I think because they really are more in grasses and shrubs I find more so than in mature forests uh, but let's go see if we can find some and have a look so I promise you that I did not stage this as I was uh, Dragging that uh, light colored piece of fabric along the edge of the trail here, I happen to look down and this is pretty typical tick habitat here. Let me just see if I can get the camera to focus. Put my hand in behind. There we go. There is what we're looking for. And that behavior right there is pretty typical. So a tick will get on the edge of our end of a blade of grass and stick its legs out and just wait for a potential host to come by. Um, there it's going to go right to the tip and stick its legs out like little antennas hoping to catch a ride on a deer or a rabbit or me for that matter so let me just pull this guy off there he's on me now um, let me just get him situated here actually that's a girl um, we'll have a better look here just hold on so as I said this is an American dog tick and these ticks have been around I grew up in Queens County there were you know, you'd get, you'd get hundreds of these things on you when you're on a fishing trip. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable around them. This tick is not known to be a carrier of Lyme disease. So there are pains, but they're not all that dangerous. They can bite you and will bite you and will feed on you, um, but not a carrier of Lyme disease. Now, what you've just noticed there is pretty typical behavior, is ticks like to go uh, up. So if I raise my hand like this, it should turn around and go up and that's because they tend to get on a host low and then find their way so if I do this it will go up and watch I'm going to turn my hand and it will you turn right around and head back upstream so this is a female American dog tick it has the horseshoe shaped marking on the back. The males have a bunch of different models, um, sort of modeling on the back of the tick. Um, so you can see the size of that. Black leg ticks or deer ticks, um, same species, are much, much smaller than this. And uh, again, these ones are plentiful, um, but not a big worry. Definitely uh, check yourself out at night to make sure they're not on you, of course. But uh, but not carriers of Lyme disease. Let's keep going, see if we can find one of the nasty ones. So we've had some luck, folks. I've got four more uh, American dog ticks here, and I wanna just show you one of the males. Just give me a second, and I'll see if I can get the camera to focus on one. So here we go. Uh, now, the camera just went blurry on me. There we go. So you can see the different pattern. I hope you can see uh, the different pattern there. It doesn't have the horseshoe, but it's got sort of a mottled double stripe on it there. I'm just going to see if I can get it to come back up to my hand by inverting a little bit here. I should turn around. Waiting patiently. There it comes back up. Um, so let me just see if I can zoom in here there so you can see the two sort of modeled in this case two modeled stripes there 
Uh, that's the boy. So uh, there you go. Now I'm shooting at this angle, not just to show you my immense fashion sense, but to show you that I've, uh, I've tucked my pant legs into my socks. And that was purposeful. You may have noticed it when I was dragging the sheet along the trail there. That'll help the, uh, the ticks not to get under your pant legs and onto your bare skin. And you can see uh, a tick right there coming up the outside of my sock. And if you wear a nice light colored clothing, uh, that'll help you spot the ticks before they have a chance to, to bite you. So no luck finding a black-legged tick today. Sorry about that, folks. I was really hopeful. But basically the difference is the black-legged tick or the deer tick, AKA, uh, is much, much smaller. And uh, some of them have like, uh, like red bums, uh, lightly colored red bums, and that's a distinguishing feature as well. Um, but definitely lots of American dog ticks in here today. I found more than a dozen quite easily. So, so again, folks, don't be afraid of them. You just need to take some steps, right? So tucking your pant legs into your socks is a good idea. Wearing long sleeves, uh, long sleeve shirts and long pants, lightly colored, helps you detect, uh, helps you to see the ticks when they, when they show up on you. Having a shower afterwards is another great way to do a tick check, basically. Um, putting your clothes in the dryer for 10 minutes will basically cook the ticks as well and as will freezing them as well if you want to put your clothes in the deep freeze after if you're if you really want to be super safe um, there are some products on the market that contain DEET um, not everyone likes DEET uh, but it, it is effective um, and there's some other chemicals as well that uh, that are in some of the other products that work well as well here's one here though locally uh, it's called Atlantic and I've seen this for sale actually locally at the, I think Chester Building Supplies right now has it I saw it the other day so this is a lemon grass based deterrent and it's been proven to work so uh, and it's a natural product as well so give that a shot folks so I hope that was helpful it was fun to drag a sheet around the woods a little bit and see what I could find um, don't let them deter you from being outside and, and enjoying the outdoors we live in a wonderful wonderful part of the world that we should enjoy so until next time folks keep exploring your backyard and uh, we'll see you for the next one see ya P.S. and I should have mentioned this earlier if you get bitten by a tick and uh, and you find it on you still attached maybe engorged um, and you think it's a black legged or a deer tick or you're not sure um, the first step is to get it off you and the, and, the, and the trick there is to get in close with a pair of tweezers or um, or one of those tick removal tools work well as well but the idea is, is get in really close to the skin pull the tick straight off no jerking no twisting and remove it and then treat with some uh, some um, uh, antiseptic wipes or something like that um, but maybe then just call 811 or even your family doc and get their advice. Um, they may, may want you to come in for a single shot of antibiotics and, uh, and just to make sure that, uh, that you don't contract Lyme disease. So uh, again, folks, get out there and enjoy it. Nothing to be afraid of. Just take the steps you need to be safe. Take care.